Welcome to our Productions Theater Company. At this time, we'd like to ask you to please shut off anything that might be, buzz, or interrupt this performance. Due to copyright restrictions, any recording or photography of any kind is strictly prohibited. Thank you for coming and enjoy the show. Good morning, students and faculty of Mario Lanza High School. Today is the second day of Career Week presentations in the school gymnacafatorium. Our speaker will be world-renowned opera singer Melva Tosti. Madam Tosti will be telling you about making a career in music, so please turn off your iPods. Oh, and whoever painted the graffiti on my office door will be receiving three hours of detention when I find you. Irritable bowel syndrome is nothing to joke about. <laughs> now please enjoy the career day presentation. There will be a test later. Students, remember to use your inside voices and welcome to the Gym Cafetorium stage, Madam Melba Toasty. <laughs> I make the moist wherever I go. The moist is good for the voice, and the voice is my life. Capish? Understand? Yes. <laughs> ah, good, good. Um, thank you, Senor Principal Rubenstein, for that bellissima introduzione. I'm so happy to be here to talk to you young people. It's your privilege to hear me tell you about my life in the opera. Oh. You know, your school is a name for a famous opera singer. Mario Lanza sang the opera in the movies in Hollywood. This happened long before they let Meryl Streep sing in the movies. <laughs> Mamma mia, why they let her sing, I'm not know. But I'm a scatter. I'm here to tell you about me. I'm love to talk about me. But first, I'm making the voice. <laughs> Everything better with the moist. The singer must keep her voice happy and healthy. I'm keeping my voice very happy because I'm a love singer. This I do from time I'm a little baby in Italy. <laughs> oh, my papa say when I'm cry as bambino, I'm already singing the high C. What? I'm a singer all the time when I'm a little girl. My family lived in a small village. My papa, he make the vino, the wine. We grow the grapes. When I'm a little girl, I'm a crush the grapes with my little feetsies. When I'm a crush, I'm a feel like a singer. Oh, I'm gonna show you how I'm a crush and singer, yes? He pay my papa for me to come sing. I'm a sing about the cavola, the, the, the cabbage, and I'm a sing about the formaggio fetente, the stinky cheese. <laughs> I still remember the song I'm a sing. Oh, I'm gonna do a little bit for you, yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, cavolo mio, una lera. Oh, gorgonzola, due lera. Oh, no. 
It means the sticky singer of the cheese. I was so flattered. Soon all the peoples come to see the diva and buy the formaggio. My pop and the girls here are very happy. I'm happy because I'm a singer and I get all the cheese I can eat. The more the peoples come, the more I'm a singer. Scusi, I make it moist. <sighs> I'm a grow up and all the people know La Diva Formaggio. One day, I'm a meet Maestro Cucinotto. He made the opera at La Scala. He's the most important opera house. He said, I should study the opera. I said, I love my formaggio. <laughs> he said, we make the opera formaggio. I would say, andiamo! Let's go. <laughs> I'm trained hard to do this opera, and Maestro Cucinotto, he good to his word. He make the opera about my formaggio amore. It called Il Formaggio Petente di Sviglio. The stinky cheese of Seville. <laughs> I'm seeing the part of the daughter, the Chabatino, uh, the, the, uh, the shoemaker. Her papa, a real heel. <laughs> she in love with the seller of the formaggio. But her papa, he don't like the stinky cheese man. He wants all the shoe business for the policeman, so. He think his daughter should marry the son of the chief of the police man. But she loved her cheesy man so much, she married him anyway. They serve fondue at the wedding, it's very sweet. If <laughs> <laughs> they give her papa a lot of stinky cheese. He look at the shape of the cheese and he get idea. He created the wet shoe which all women start wearing. <laughs> he become a rich man and forgive his daughter and her cheesy man. <laughs> I love the aria the maestro write for me. It's called Un Formaggio Poco Fa. <laughs> it's a song about the cheese she ate a while ago and how much she loved him and her cheesy man. <laughs> I'm going to translate a little bit for you in English, yes? <clears throat> There's a cheese that I enshrine in my heart, and you must know, for much you, all cheese doth shine, tears for thee, my heart doth blow. with the bathroom. 
room in the between. But she no share the bathroom. She locked the door, throw her shoe at me. Oh, and she got big feet, it leave a mark. <laughs> then she tell me to use the bathroom the chorus girls use. Damn, fix her. I'm a hot piece of the stinky cheese in her costume. <laughs> <laughs> she smell like bad cheese every time she go on stage. <laughs> <laughs> do not mess with the stinky cheese, Diva. <laughs> this Diva also seen me be in La Boheme when I'm seeing Lucetta. She's still not liking me. I think she remembered the cheese. <laughs> oh, and speaking of cheese, remember this Diva looked like she not miss a meal, capiche? <laughs> so, in the last scene, Mimi is dying of the um, tuberculosis. Uh, the, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so she go to her bed to lie down, but this Mimi so heavy the bed break and she slide on the floor. <laughs> this Mimi not just die of consumption, she die of consumption of the donuts. <laughs> These divas are crazy. Excuse me, I make a noise. <laughs> I'm going to go from the opera La Boheme to the great opera Tosca. I'm singing this great role of the Tosca. Now, I'm not the name of names, but the tenor who sing with me, he's a pain in the prosciutto. <laughs> he like eat too much garlic. When we sing our love song, I'm almost faint from his breath. So, I'm being nice, and I'm going to send the bread mints to his dressing room. I'm thinking this good thing, but he just throw the meat in my face and eat the more garlic. All the time, backstage, he eat the more garlic. What I tell you, pain and a prosciutto. Now, in the story of the Tosca, when she is betrayed and her lover is killed, she threw herself off the wall and killed herself. I know it's a crazy thing to kill yourself just because you love it is a die. <laughs> I'm a be heartbroken, yes, but I'm not going to jump off the roof. I'm going to toast his memory with a good vino, yes. <laughs> but Tosca, she going to jump. So, they build a real tall wall for me to fall. Oh, don't worry. They put a lot of mattress and pillows down for me to fall. It's a great day. I'm a sing the high notes. I'm a fall, get the big feelings from the audience. Big applause. But one night, this tenor, I think he's still mad about the bread mints, he switched my mattress for the trampolino. <laughs> <laughs> so, this time, when I'm going to go over the wall, I'm going to bounce right back. My dad, she's a ruin. The audience laugh. <laughs> but I'm going to fix him. I'm going to switch his garlic powder for the powder laxative. <laughs> <laughs> that night, I'm gonna never see a tenor sing so fast in his life. He not even take his final bow, so I'm gonna get solo <laughs> You not mess with the stinky cheese diva, even when she defeats. <laughs> I make it a voice. <laughs> And do La Fanciulla, oh, the girl of the Golden West, uh, La Traviata, Don Giovanni, Rigoletto. Oh, and even do the ring. Oh, but I'm not mean the movies with the little peoples with the furry beads. Mm. Although I know some tenors who look like that. <laughs> oh, so many operas, so many years, is hard life, but I'm in love. <laughs> oh, now is the time I'm taking you questions. Now you teach us, ask you, put your questions on the cards I'm going to have here. So, let's read the first question. <clears throat> Can I download you on iTunes? <laughs> Why are you on the download? This sounds painful. <laughs> I'm a like stay regular, yes? Let's try second question. Hmm, let's see. What do you think of a pit bull? I'm head last answer. The pit bull is not a good dog size. <laughs> not fit in my purse for head. Let's take the next question. 
would you do a song with 50 cents? <laughs> I'm no work that cheap. I'm in a lot of better to sing, I guess. Next question. Do you like Eminem? Yes. But I'm not like the red ones. I'm eat the green ones only. It's a good color for me, yes. Oh, they have another question here. It's a two for one. Do you like beaver? <laughs> I'm not like beavers. They got a flat tail and big teeth. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, do you know let it go? <laughs> I'm not let it go. I'm a lady. Now I'm not naming names, but I know this base. Always let it go backstage. <laughs> you want to talk about a stinky cheese? He leave a cloud that could melt the ice. Oh, and speaking of melting the ice, I'm going to moist again. Oh, I'm thinking I need it. Oh, I'm thinking you <laughs> Now we both moist. <laughs> One more question here. Let's see what we got. Oh, here we are. It's a good one. How many birds are nesting in your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Just the one. A songbird. <laughs> I'm making the money. Thank you. You're not the best with the stinky cheese, baby. She on top of you. <laughs> I'm over you now. <laughs> so, it's almost time for me to finish my talk. But if you have more questions, you can stalk me on the Twitter web. <laughs> I'm big tweet now. <laughs> I'm a smash tag you and everything, yes? <laughs> now, you know what they say in the opera. It's not over till the fat lady sings. Well, I'm not fat, but I'm singing you one more song. Many times, the opera singers do the solo concert for the people. You know, like um, uh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh, and I'm even offered singing this song at Kim and Kanye's wedding, but they ask Andrea Bocelli instead. <laughs> but they make him leave before dinner. He you know, they even get a piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a scatter. I'm singing this song for you now. It's Kim and Kanye's Loss. It's one of my favorite songs from my concert. It's called The Fairy Pipers. I love the fairies. I hope you love the fairies too. <laughs> When all the world has gone to sleep and all the frogs are still, if you would hear the fairy pipes come out of the hill. <laughs> come out, come out, listen on the air. Up there, down there, fairies everywhere. Oh, hark, oh, hear, come to hear the Underneath the merry moon. <laughs> but if you doubt that this can be and question what I say, you never hear the melody the fairy pipers play. Come out, come out, listen on the air.